Welcome to the Mustard Seed Media video podcast. My name is Bob, and this is the podcast for Drupal web designers. Yes, it's true. We're back after many, many, many too many weeks off. Hopefully, we'll get back on the horse and give you some more podcasts in the coming weeks. Today, we're going to talk about inline images in Drupal, but not in your exactly normal kind of way. Inline images, by definition, are those images that you put within the body of any post or any node uh, in Drupal. So this is not usually uh, like a file field image or a uh, or an image module image. This is something that actually goes within the text in the body field. Uh, but we're going to do it in slightly, a slightly different way and for a couple of different reasons. Many of you are probably using something like IMCE, which allows you to easily insert images into the body uh, of your nodes. But we're going to do something a little bit different because what we want to do is we always want to be looking forward to where Drupal's going and to make sure that what we're doing and how we're building sites uh, will be sort of compatible and will work best with where Drupal goes in the future. Uh, there's something new called the media module that's in development right now. Uh, and that's just one of many indications that things like CCK and CCK file field and image field are the future of uh, images in Drupal, in, uh, all the image handling and everything else. So when we use something like IMCE, we're using something sort of outside the future of Drupal. Uh, although it works just fine and it's a nice module, uh, I like to try and find some uh, ways to do things that are always a little bit more future compatible. So what we're going to do today is we're going to look at a way that you can use CCK image field uh, to insert inline images and resize them into your body content on your Drupal site. So let's dive in and look at what we're going to do. Of course, you got to have a couple of the main modules that pretty much everyone should have, and some of them are going into Drupal 7 core, at least part of them. Uh, things like file field, uh, image cache, image API, uh, all those things are sort of expected in this. Uh, and uh, so we're going to use uh, three additional modules that might not be expected that are uh, a little bit different. The first one is this module called file field insert. This is an awesome module. Uh, you're going to see that it's still in development and it does need some work. I found some bugs in it and things like that, but uh, it is just a great module. What this allows us to do is take an image that's uploaded uh, to a CCK image field, uh, which is actually file field, and to insert it into the body of any content or any Drupal node. Super powerful, very, very cool way to do inline images uh, jiving with everything that I just talked about with the future of Drupal. So we're going to use that. We're going to use the image resize filter. If you go to drupal.org slash project slash image underscore resize underscore filter where this project page is, I highly, highly encourage you to watch this demo video of the module. Uh, it's done by the Lullabot folk and uh, it basically shows you all the ins and outs of how this module works. I'll just be sort of showing it in passing today. I'm also going to use the WYSIWYG API and this is sort of just a little add-on to uh, position my images and stuff. Um, and really the reason I'm pointing it out is to show that uh, if you're using an API in Drupal, uh, FCK editor, tiny MC, whatever it is, uh, switch over to the image, or I'm sorry, the WYSIWYG API. Uh, this is the future of WYSIWYG in Drupal. So let's look at how we set this whole thing up. I just have my page content type. Uh, and what I've done is I've added a file field slash image field, uh, just a CCK image field, uh, to this content type. So I have image uploads. And let me show you in the configuration what that looks like. Uh, it's just a simple uh, CCK image field. And you're going to see everything you normally see except one additional thing. It says HTML insert right here. Sorry about the colors. Uh, we're going to retheme this a little bit. Um, HTML insert. This is the file field insert modules settings for this content type. Uh, this will show up under any uh, file field image field uh, in your Drupal uh, site when you configure the field. So I'm going to first check enable HTML insert. That's going to allow this to work on that file field. Now something very cool if I'm using image cache, I can choose which image cache preset should be uh, available for the user to use to automatically resize their image uh, to some of these presets. That's an awesome feature. Uh, we can set a uh, image insert width, uh, just sort of a, a maximum there. Uh, and uh, that's pretty much it for the HTML insert. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. Now let's go over and look at what it looks like to create a page. So this is just uh, standard Drupal stuff. I've just restyled it a little bit. We have our body field and we have our image upload field that we added. This is just your image field. Uh, so I'm just going to type some text in here. And then let's say we want to insert a new image at the beginning of this text and float it. So I'm going to put my cursor where I want it. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to switch my input format over because uh, only full HTML on my site allows uh, images. So I'm going to click that, but watch the WYSIWYG when I click this. 
Very cool. This is the new WYSIWYG API at work. It allows us to choose different editors and different editor settings uh, for different input formats. That is a cool feature. Now, I didn't show you how to enable uh, the, uh, the uh, image resize filter, so I'm going to do that real quick. We'll jump over to our site configuration and input formats. And I'm just going to use this on uh, full HTML. So I'm going to configure that input format. All I've got to do is enable image resize filter on that input format and then save it. Uh, and that's it. Uh, again, watch that Lullabot video for full details on uh, some options you can do here. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my cursor where I want the image to insert. I'm going to browse and choose an image and just upload it. Now what you're going to see when I upload it is I have these new options. Uh, these are all due to file field insert. Uh, and so I can choose to insert this image into the body uh, in its original size, which is in this case is way too big. Or I've also got drop downs for my two image cache settings that I, pre that I had selected before. That's very cool. So I could just choose one of these, send a text area, and it's there. Uh, instead though, I'm gonna just show you also uh, something you can do. You can choose original, send a text area, way too big, but I can drag and resize to any size that I want. And this is the image resize filter at work. Uh, and it's going to actually resize, create a new file uh, of whatever size that I put in here, giving, uh, giving you the best resolution and everything uh, for handling this image in a smaller size. And then I can just select it, uh, choose my WYSIWYG settings, uh, use those to align uh, all that I want. And then uh, when I'm all done, I'll just hit save, and you'll see that it's there. Um, now, just to show you, if I view image on this, this is the actual image size. It, the uh, image was resized to whatever I dragged that size to, and that's a very cool thing. Um, one other little note is that um, normally, because I'm using an image field, uh, that image field would have shown in addition to my body field uh, in my node. Uh, just go ahead and try it, and you'll see what I mean. What you need to do is turn that off and display fields if you're not custom theming it. So uh, you'll go to your content type, display fields, and choose hidden uh, for both full node uh, and teaser for the image uploads. That way it will only show in your body and not a second time uh, in its original size uh, in the rest of the theme. So kind of a cool new way to do image field uh, uploads and inserting them into the body as inline images, uh, doing resizing and all of that kind of stuff. Hopefully it was helpful to you. Helpful to you. Uh, some of this is a little bit buggy and I'm still just playing with it. But uh, to me, this is future forward looking uh, stuff in Drupal and it's a great way to start doing inline images. If you have any questions, jump over to mustardseedmedia.com slash podcast and click on this episode and you can leave a comment there. Uh, or go ahead and uh, check out my audio podcast if you got time over at geeksandgod.com. That's it. Have a wonderful week and we'll see you very soon. <laughs>